Okay, so I made all of my uh, videos private. The reason why is because um, we're gonna be putting uh, videos up with some notable, <laughs> reputable people. And uh, I've done some pretty cringeworthy things in the past um, in terms of just, I don't know, just the videos that I've made. It's not, I'm not embarrassed, well, I'm embarrassed by them, but I'm not apologetic for them because I'm just really into anti-aging and, uh, you know, enthusiasm plus ignorance equals uh, cringeworthiness. But what I don't want to happen is I don't want um, my lack of caring of my own reputation to uh, to cause some kind of um, blowback to anybody who we might be talking to over the the next um, few weeks. And I'm not a professional. I'm just an amateur at this point. But um, I do care, and I, I I care about the the endeavor overall, and I care about um, if people are going to look bad because of my actions, I guess. So, uh, and I suspect that in the past, um, that's been a problem. Um, so anyway, I made all the videos private, uh, but I do need to now re-explain a couple things. One thing in general is the is the logo that I'm using for my channel. Um, it's a pyramid. It's a crudely drawn pyramid with a crudely drawn eye in the middle of it. And the, the what the logo represents is not the um, the eye of uh, God. What was that? The Illuminati thing? Eye of Providence. Uh, so the history of the Eye of Providence is that the it was it was originally actually the Illuminati originally used the owl of Minerva as their symbol, and then for some reason it got changed to the Eye of Providence. But it was a naked eye, and then somebody drew a, a triangle around it, and the triangle actually had some symbolism for like three, uh, I don't know, three like uh, rules or or the virtues that they believed in and stuff like that, and then somehow it became a pyramid. Probably because they put that that eye in the triangle on top of the pyramid and on the currency, the U.S. currency, and uh, the the eye. If you look at it, the eye is in a triangle at the top. It's not three dimensional, but because it's on the top of a pyramid, I guess I think what happened was it eventually got associated with the pyramid. So um, I thought it'd be pretty clever to put an eye on top of a pyramid because it's mostly like an awaking eye. And it's representative of the pharaohs rather than um, the the Illuminati stuff. But Illuminati seem to be associated with the quest for biological immortality. So I thought it'd be like a little clever, like a you know thing of like, well, here's a symbol that kind of means two different things. The reason why there's a pyramid with an eye on it is because the pharaohs of Egypt were, as far as I know, the first people who really committed. To the idea of biological immortality they really they went there like other people talk about it and a lot of people talk about doing something about it but they tried they failed ultimately but they they definitely tried harder than most other people throughout all of human history um and they are the earliest ones so that's why i put them in there so the reason why they're the ones that tried was because they basically had an early version of cryonics. So cryonics is just body preservation at its core. And uh, the Egyptians had a form of body preservation called embalmation. And what they did was they embalmed their tissues to preserve them under the hopes that, oh, well, if, if I preserve my body, then maybe in the future when technology gets better, they'll be able to resuscitate me. And this is kind of like ingrained in their whole belief structure. It's kind of like, there are, there's a lot of like spirituality of the, what the pharaohs believed about like, well, they believed it is, this was the way for eternal life. It's like, yeah, that's what they believed, that this was the way for eternal life, that they were going to preserve their bodies and then get reawoken. And nobody really talks about that for some reason. Um, they all think that the pharaohs were these dumb religious people that were just like, oh, I will go across the river, sticks, and, and I will be transported. Is it Styx or was it, it, it was a different river maybe? 
Am I getting your nervous confused? Anyway, they were, people keep thinking that these guys were like these religious fanatics and they might have promoted religion as a form of um, getting people to listen to them. But I think that what they really understood was this is a way to preserve a body, tissues. This is the best thing that we have at the time or that they had at the time. So let's do this and uh, hope for the best. And that's the same attitude that you'll see in a lot of cryonics advocates today. It's basically the same attitude, I think, that what they had back then. Um, they don't know if it's going to work, but it's better than nothing. So let's try it. One of the problems with the pharaohs is that they, uh, I, be I believe personally, they spent so much GDP on those pyramids that it torpedoed their whole civilization uh, in terms of the, their development and their ability to <sighs> compete with other civilizations at the world stage in that time in history. Um, I think that if they had spent less time on the pyramids, that they might have, they might have become a more powerful nation and history as we know it would have been radically altered. Um, that's my, that's my uh, interpretation of the events. And I think it's a, it's a pretty good interpretation because um, in the face of biological mortality, you can justify a lot of decisions by saying, well, once we achieve immortality, then it's all worth it. What I, all the pain and suffering is worth it as long as you succeed. The problem is you have to actually succeed. And uh, throughout history, I think that history is littered with people who have done some pretty horrible things in the name of pursuing this particular goal and who have potentially destroyed a lot of lives um, and then failed obviously, at, at the goal of achieving immortality. So uh, it, another, the, one of the other reasons to put the pyramid on my logo is that it reminds me of not, not going overboard, I guess. Not, don't, don't throw everything away in pursuit of this. Um, and while well, I'm okay with the risk to my own life, but it feels wrong to destroy other people's lives um, in pursuit of something like this because they, it's like they didn't ask for it and they might not even want it. And they might not be comfortable with the risks associated with the pursuit of something like this. Uh, the pharaohs, they, they succeeded at one thing. They succeeded at creating the ultimate safe space, which was uh, a space on the planet where they stored their bodies and it lasted for thousands of years without being disturbed, which is, a, which is an, ass an essential part of that strategy of body preservation. You need an undisturbed location. And they did it. They got it done. Not all of them. I mean, the, the, pyramids, the pyramids worked. The tombs, like the Valley of the Kings and stuff that got raided prior, you know, th th those didn't work. Um, and especially for the peasants, because everybody in Egyptian society was doing this embalmation. The peasants, their strategy, their, the only thing that they could afford was to put their bodies into a, a gravel mound. And clearly that did not work at all. I mean, you can imagine how, how long is a gravel mound going to last throughout the ages. But the pyramids actually did work to preserve a space and to preserve the bodies as they were. Now, when you scramble a brain and pull it out through the nose, it, you're not going to be able to <laughs> put that back together. Um, so they didn't understand biology well enough, but it didn't change what they were trying to do. And uh, I can appreciate that. Um, and the logo is poorly drawn because I am an amateur and I don't want to profess authority or power that I don't have. So, um, I just, I just, I'm just leading it as a sort of crudely drawn thing. And if I somehow, hopefully stop being an amateur and start getting paid to do what it is that I do, um, then I can upgrade my own self-image and how I perceive myself. But for now, I perceive myself as being an amateur who um, hasn't really done like a thing, like a big thing for aging. So 
I don't want to express authority that I don't see in myself. Um, other than that, uh, yeah, so I, I'm hiding all my previous videos. Uh, they're not gone, but I, you know, and I'm not ashamed of them. I just don't, I don't want the people that I respect to, to somebody's going to be like, oh, why are you on that channel that's got this dude doing weird stuff? I'm like, oh, I don't. So anyway, that's the reason. All right. <laughs>